Hello everybody! In this Swift programming tutorial, we are going to go over the map function. First things first, let's go over a couple notes. The map function returns an array containing the results of mapping the given closure over the sequence's elements. You create your closure to do something to each element of your array. For example, the closure could multiply each number in your array by 2 or capitalize each element in a string array. Basically, map allows you to map a function, specifically a closure, to each element of your array. Most of the time, the things you can do with map, you can also do with an array and a for loop. However, map may allow you to write less and more succinct code. Here are the arrays we're going to be working with. One array with numbers and one array with strings. Before we begin with our examples, let's go over one more quick note. Swift automatically provides shorthand arguments that look like this, and they use the dollar sign, and you can use those names in inline closures, which can then be used to refer to the values of the closure's arguments. So as you will see in just a second, you can think of the dollar zero in our examples below as each element of your array as the closure maps over the sequence, very similar to the i in a for in loop. Okay, and the examples that we show should make that a little bit more clear. So the first thing we want to do is use the map to allow us to multiply each number in an array by two, and we're going to use this array here. Let's go ahead and create a variable. Let's call it times two map. We're going to assign our numbers array, and then we're going to use a dot to access the map function. We can go ahead and get rid of the round brackets and put in our closure. This is where we talked about using our dollar zero sign, which we mentioned up here. So for each element of that array, what we want to do is multiply it by two. Now let's go ahead and use a print to display the results. Let's put in our times two map variable and let's run it. So you can see down here in the console, the output displays this array and each element in that array times two. For our next example, what we want to do is take each element of this string array and capitalize it. Let's go ahead and create our variable. We'll call it capitalize map. Let's assign our strings array. Again, use a dot to access the map function. Let's use our closure. We're going to go ahead and use our shorthand syntax, the dollar zero, and what we want to do to each element of that array is to capitalize. Let's go ahead and display our results. So you can see down here in the console, each element of our strings array is now capitalized. And let's go over one more example. What we want to do here is to count the characters in each element of our strings array. Create a variable, let's call it character count. Let's use our strings array, a dot to access the map, put in our closure. Let's use our shorthand syntax, and we can use count to display our results. Let's just use a print, put in our variable, and run it. So you can see down here in the console, the first element in our strings array green has five characters, blue has four, and yellow has six. Now one short note regarding closures. Closures can be created in many ways with different syntax to perform the same task. And we will go over examples of that in a future tutorial when we cover closures. So in summary, the map function can be good for all kinds of things including conversions, such as currency and measurements, uniform increases or decreases, or pretty much anything that you want to do to each element of an array. That's all we have for this tutorial. We will be doing many more Swift tutorials in the near future. Join us for those, and we'll see you next time.